Lift and roll your shoulders. Raising your hands up. Bring through the center. And again, raising your hands up. Press your feet down, stretch your hands up. Bring your hands through the center. And then again, bringing your hands up, touching, and come back through the center. Release your hands. Just circle your wrists one way, and circle your wrists the other way, and stretch your hands out and just curl them in. So this is a classic Tibetan um, sequence. It um, works through all the energy centers, starting at the base of the spine and going up to the head. So come to the top of your mat. It's going to be salute to the sun. <clears throat> Breathing in, and as you breathe out, bring your hands to the center of your chest. Breathing in, hands up, looking either straight ahead or up, depending on your neck capacity. Breathing out, bend your knees as you roll down to the floor, hands on the floor. Breathing in, step your right foot back, stretch it, and bring your right foot to the ground. Left foot back. Adjust your knees and your hands. Breathing in, dipping your back. Breathing out, rounding, chin goes to chest. Breathing in, dipping your back. Breathing out, chin to chest. Tuck your toes, tummy in, lower abdomen in. Lift your knees and come to downward dog. Knees bend, bottom high, and then begin to straighten your legs. They don't have to be totally straight, and your feet, your heels don't have to touch the floor. You can adjust your feet to being wider apart. Just walk the dog a couple of times by bending one knee and then bending the other knee. And then bend both knees. Both knees come back down to the ground. Hands go to the left, giving space for your right foot to come up. Hands either side of your right foot. Just stretch into the right hip. Bring your uh, leg back to a 90 degree angle. Tuck your back left toes. Lift your back left knee and step your left foot to be next to your right foot. Hands on your shins. Breathe in as you lengthen along your spine. Flat back, tailbone to the top of the head. Breathe out as you bend your knees, bend your elbows. Breathe in, lengthen along your spine. Stay here as you breathe out. And breathing in, bend your knees, press your feet into the ground as you roll up vertebra by vertebra to standing. Raise your hands up, stretch your fingers, and breathing out, lower your hands. Inhale, exhale, hands together at the heart center. Breathing in, raise your hands up, stretch up. Breathing out, lower, down, bending your knees and your elbows, hands either side of your feet. Breathe in, step or stretch your left leg back. Lower your left knee to the ground. Slide your right knee back, you're in tabletop. Adjust your hands and your knees if you need to. Breathing in, cat, bending and dipping your back. Breathing out, rounding chin to chest. Cow. Breathing in, dipping your back. Cat. And breathing out, rounding chin to chest. Cow, tuck your toes, tummy in. Come to your downward dog. Bend your knees, bottom away from your um, wrists. Weight back. Widen your legs if you need to. Walk the dog, bending one knee and then bending the other knee. 
bend both knees and lengthen them. Bend both knees back to the ground. Your hands go right, giving space for your left foot to come up. Hands either side of your left foot. Tuck your right toes underneath. Lift up your right knee and step your right foot to your left foot. Press your hands on your shins, breathing in, lengthen your spine, tabletop. Breathe out, bend your knees, bend your elbows. Breathe in, lengthen your spine. Stay here as you breathe out. And breathing in, press your feet into the ground as you roll up vertebra by vertebra to standing. You can use your hands to trace coming up along the body and then hands up. Stretch your fingers, breathing out, lower your hands. We'll do one more round. Inhale, exhale, hands together. Inhale, hands up. Breathing out, roll down. Step or slide your right foot back. Right knee comes to the ground. Left foot back. You're in tabletop. Make any adjustments to come to cat dipping your back, looking either up or along the ground. Breathing out, cow, round your back, chin to chest. Breathing in, cat once more. And as you breathe out, rounding your back, tuck your toes and prepare to come up into your downward dog, lifting the knees bent, weight away from your wrists and then begin to straighten your legs, adjust your feet if you need to. Walk the dog by bending one knee and then the other knee, swaying from side to side. Stretch back, bend both knees back to the ground. Hands go to the left, right foot comes up, hands either side of the right foot, lengthen and stretch into the right hip. Bring the right knee back to a 90 degree angle, tuck your left toes, tummy in, lift your left knee and step your left foot to your right foot. From press your hands onto your shins to breathe in and lengthen along your tailbone. Breathe out, bend in. Breathe in, lengthen, flat back, tailbone to the top of the head. Stay here as you breathe out. And breathing in, press your feet into the ground as you roll up vertebra by vertebra to standing, stretching your hands up. Breathing out, lower your hands. Last round, hands together, hands up, roll down. Step your left foot back, left knee on the ground, right foot back, you're kneeling, dipping your back, cat, rounding your back. Cow. Dipping your back, cat. Rounding your back, cow, tucking your toes. Coming into your soft dog. Walk the dog. And then bend both knees back to the ground. Hands to the right. Left foot up, hands either side of the left foot, tuck your back right toes underneath, tummy in, lift your back right knee and step your right foot to your left foot. Press your hands onto your shins, lengthening along the spine, breathing out, bend in, breathing in, press your hands on your shins. Breathe out, stay here, and breathing in, roll up vertebra by vertebra to standing, hands up, lower your hands, lift and roll your shoulders, bring your hands to your chest, 
and roll down to sit on the floor. Have both legs out in front of you in a slight V. Extend your toes upwards. Take the flesh out from underneath you if you need to. Hands either side of you, just relaxed. Just start by circling your ankles in one direction. And then circle your ankles in the other direction. Stretch your toes and release and relax them. Then both feet go to the left. Both feet point to the right, so this becomes an invert and evert movement. Feet to the left and toes, feet to the right. Just do that a couple of times. Sit up by lengthening your spine, just touching your fingers to the floor. Turn towards your left outstretched leg, make sure that your left toes are up to the ceiling. And slide or walk your hands either down your left leg or they can go either side of your left leg and come to just bend over your left leg. You can come as little or as much forward over your leg as you want to. If you really want to intensify the stretch, you can take your right hand to the outside edge of your left foot and your left hand would go behind you on the left. And you would turn your head to look behind you towards the direction of your left hand. But that's quite strong, and it's quite enough just to be a relaxed forward bend, turning towards the left outstretched foot with your hands either on your shin or on the ground, whichever works for you. This is a variation of Janusasana, which is head to knee pose, and it is a forward bend which is calming for the nervous system. Tummy in to slide your hands up. Come to the center as you turn back, lengthen your spine. Just turn your head from left to right to left, to right. Turn your entire body towards your right leg. Lengthen your spine again. And then either walk your hands down your shin, your right shin, or either side of your right leg. And again, you can stay wherever you are comfortable in this forward bend, or take your left hand to the outside edge of your right foot, in which case your right hand would go behind you, and you would turn to look back towards your right hand, but that's a stronger stretch. So choose where you're comfortable. This is also a rotation and you'll feel that any rotation evens up the spinal muscles. So here you might feel the left side of your spine lengthening as you turn towards the right. And you're also opening up the inner groin area where you have a proliferation of lymph nodes. So it's from that point of view boosting your immune system as well. And then very gently slide your hands up, come back to the centre, and we come into Vadakanasana, so soles of the feet aim together. It doesn't matter whether you bring your feet in a lot or a little bit. Further away from you is good. We've got Sue with us today, who um, might or might not, you're very welcome, Sue, to add any comments or thought for the day that you, where you might like to focus. Um, rubbing your fingers or thumbs or just sort of feet, so over to you. Yes, it's the, you can uh, rub your big toe. Okay. Rub your big toe. Oh, right. Whereabouts on the big 
for that help to heaven. Whereabouts on the big toe, anywhere? The whole of the big toe is head. Okay. So just all around is quite good. I'm doing that. That feels very soothing. And, and down between the, down the next toe. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Anybody else want to ask Sue about any body parts they'd like to uh, think about? Sue is a reflexologist, Pat, so if you want to ask oh. her anything, um, you're very welcome to. Okay. So. And just gently finish, you can rub your thumbs wherever your thumbs and fingers feel that they want to rub your feet. Just enjoy this self-massage. And these two, uh, where we have been, we've been focusing on the tailbone. And we now move slightly up to the lower abdominal area. So just come to a cross-legged position to make a transition to the abdominal area with your hands resting on your shins or knees. Just lengthen your spine and then round. So it becomes a seated cat-cow a couple of times, lengthening and rounding chin to chest. And then just lift your knees up and we're going to come to line. Extend your legs along the floor and once more circle your ankles in one way and then circle them in the other direction. Leave your left leg where it is and bend your right knee, hugging your right knee into your chest. Just give your right knee a little circle in one direction and a little circle in the other direction. And then roll your entire body to the left, still holding your right knee your right hip will lift off the ground. You can rest your right foot on your left leg. You can place your left hand on your outside of your right thigh. And your left hand can rest on the left waist. If you're very open and flexible, I said on the left waist, sorry, your right hand rests on your right waist. Your left hand is on top of your left thigh. If you're very flexible, you can open your right hand out to the right, but that is quite a pull underneath your right shoulder. And your head will naturally turn towards the right, either looking along the right arm or looking upwards. So this is a reclined um, line twist. And it's very beneficial for unraveling um, the spine if you're tight along the spine. If you were here for a, quite a few breaths, you might like a big bolster underneath your right knee. But we're not going to stay here that long. And then very gently roll back to being on your back. Hug your right knee in towards your chest. And then just let your right foot connect with the ground and stretch your right leg out along the floor. Just circle your ankles again a few times in one direction and then a few times in the other direction. Leaving your right foot where it is, Hug your left knee into your chest. Still holding the left knee, make a couple of circles in one direction. 
and then circle your left knee a couple of times in the other direction. Still holding your left knee, roll your entire body so your hip lifts as well to the right. Your right hand goes somewhere on the left thigh. And if you have a choice with your left hand to either rest on your left waist, to open your left arm outwards along the floor like a book, or if the halfway house is to bend your left arm and have the left hand slightly above the head. And it very much depends really on how you, where your capacity is, where you feel comfortable. So choose which hand variation appeals to you. Your right leg should still be extended. Your right heel should be extended. It's very easy to let the right leg go very soft. So just a gentle extension. And your head, of course, can turn towards the left, either looking a lot to the left or slightly up. So not only are you, you turning up through your spine at the base of the spine, but of course we're also turning at the top of the spine from the neck position. Take another breath in and out. And then rolling back Hug one knee, left knee into the chest, and this time bring the right knee, bend the right knee, and bring up the right knee into the chest as well. So you're hugging both knees into the chest and just rocking from side to side. So we're now going to do a forward bend, but instead of coming up, we're going to do it lying down. So drop your hands behind your thighs. You can clasp your hands if you want to. And just raise your legs upwards. So this is a variation on a forward bend. You're not coming quite so forward. You can walk your hands up the backs of your legs. You can bring your hands inside the legs if that helps, holding the backs of the uh, shins and backs of the calves that way or if you like you can even hold your big toes opening your legs in a V depends on how long your arms are and just very gently sway your legs from side to side so really as I said depends on your arm capacity how long your arms are And you can sway your legs from side to side, just massaging across the top of your bottom or the base of your lower back. Come to the centre and bend both knees in towards you. And then let both feet go to the ground. You can support your legs. Your knees are bent and your feet are hip width apart. Your hands can be either palms down on the floor or resting on your abdomen with your elbows out slightly or you can open your arms like a T, resting your palms down on the floor. Again, it depends on your capacity. Your feet can come wider than hip width apart and start to sway your knees from side to side. Both knees go in the same direction your hips will lift off the ground. So it becomes like a windscreen wiper movement. And you can join in by rolling your head in the opposite direction and away from your knees. You can go quite slowly so that you can feel the benefit of the weight of your body massaging across the top of your bottom or the base of your lower back. And the more you drop your knees from side to side, the more you'll feel the massage 
across the top of the bottom. I think I've said before that this particular swaying that we're doing comes very much within something called the somatic movement. And for our purposes, apart from being incredibly soothing, it's very good for anti-aging as it's exploring the relationship of the limbs to the torso. And then we're going to come gradually to a transition line on our backs to move slightly up the body to behind the navel. So to come to our transition, bring your arms in and hug your knees into your chest again. This time, holding your hands on your knees. As you breathe in, just let your knees move away from you to arm's length. You're still holding your knees. Breathing out, hugging your knees in, chip to, to towards your, your knees in towards you. And breathing out, breathing in, knees away, breathing out, knees towards you. Just do that a couple of times and feel the pulsing of your body, the weight of your body, against the lower back area. And then very gently, taking your time to roll to the side, perhaps roll to your right, away from your heart, and we're going to come to a kneeling position back to tabletop as we come into our focus behind the navel as we move up the body. So just very gently, hands, shoulder width apart and knees hip width apart, just sway from side to side. Bring your hands to the left and bring your right foot up. Hands either side of your right foot. If you feel slightly wobbly, just bring your right foot out slightly to the right to secure your weight. Bring your left hand next to the inside of your right foot and bring your right hand onto your waist and turn, you might like to come up onto your fingertips, turn to open up to the right. Right hand on the waist. You're opening up your right shoulder. You can look behind you to your right shoulder. So it's at the back of your neck's long. And if you've got capacity in view and you'd like to stretch out, you can optionally raise your right hand up. This might limit your turn, so choose where you feel comfortable. Take an in and out breath here. And then very gently come back to both hands either side of your right foot. Slide your right foot back so that you're back to kneeling at tabletop and sway from side to side with your bottom. This time, move your hands to the right to give space to your left foot to come up. And feel, if you're a bit wobbly, that you can move your left foot out to the left. Bring your right hand to the inside of your left foot. You can come onto your fingertips and turn to the left, placing your left hand on your waist. You'll see that this opens your left shoulder, so you can stay here. Your back right toes can be flat or tucked underneath, your choice. And of course you've got the option of opening your hand up and up, upwards to the sky. That's an option. The aim is to open out your shoulder. And just stay here. 
for a couple of breaths. And then very gently come back, hands either side of your left foot, come back to kneeling. Just very gently sway from side to side. And come to sitting on your bottom, of course, and hugging your knees into your chest. And then walk your feet towards you, so that your feet actually lift off the ground. And just feel that you're really, your back straight, which will mean hugging your knees in very close and engaging your core to achieve this. So for those of you who are more um, flexible than I am or have stronger cores, you can drop your hands underneath your thighs, clasp your hands, and begin to lift your legs up. Just note that you're beginning to then let your back sway out to support this. And if you're super, super wonderful in your core, which I'm not, you can release your hands so that this becomes a boat pose. I'm not great at this, so I'm going to clasp my hands underneath my feet, underneath my legs to support myself. And then when you're ready, just touch your feet onto the ground and just slide your feet out, place your hands on your shins, and then just come forward for a couple of breaths, just to stretch out your lower back and compensate for the pose that you've just done. And then cross your legs into a seated position. Raise your hands with clasped fists and thumbs up to about 30 degrees. Your elbows can be bent or straight. And breathe in and out through the nose, almost like sniffing the air in, sniffing the air out. So it's an equal focus on the in and out breath. And it's you're almost sniffing the air in and out audibly. Breathe in and hold the breath, thumbs touch, and breathe out, lowering the hands. Lift and roll your shoulders, stretch your legs out in front of you, just bounce your legs, cross your right leg over your left, your right ankle over your left, sit up, bring your left hand to the outside of your right thigh. Uh, right hand goes back, breathing in, lifting and breathing out, turning to look over your right shoulder. Press your back right hand down to breathe in, lifting, breathing out, turn to look over your right shoulder. In and out. Breathing in, come back to the centre, hands either side of you, uncross your right ankle from your left, Stretch your toes, relax, and now cross your left ankle over your right. Sit up, bring your right hand to the outside of your left thigh, and your left hand goes behind you as you breathe in, lengthen, and breathe out, turn to look over your left shoulder. Press your back hand down to lengthen your spine, and breathing out, turn to look over your left shoulder. And then very gently come back to the center, unravel your legs and just slightly slide your hands down your shins, just slightly coming forward. Sitting up, bend your knees and we're going to come very gently to roll up to standing for a moment. Tucking your toes. Roll up vertebra by vertebra to standing. 
lift and roll your shoulders. Step out with your feet in a triangle. And turn your left foot in, your right foot out. Hands up in a warrior two. You can soften your front knee. Bring your left palm to your right palm. Slide your left hand back, elbow high, to draw your bow. Raise your, left, raise your right arm to look upwards to your right thumb. Lower your right hand and open out wide. Bring your left palm to your right palm. Slide your left hand back to draw your bow. Raise your right hand, looking up at the right thumb, and open out. Last time, left hand to right palm. Slide your left hand back high to draw your bow, opening across the chest. Raise your right hand, looking up at the right thumb, and open out. Lower your hands. Bring your right foot in and then turn your left foot out, your right foot in. And we're going to reverse the other side. Raising your hands up in a warrior two, you can soften your front left knee. And then bring your right palm to the left palm. Bend your right elbow as you slide your hand back to pull your bow. Raise your left hand upwards to the ceiling, looking upwards at your left palm, and then open your hands out. Right hand to left hand. Slide your right elbow back, pull your bow. Left hand up, looking at the left thumb, and open out. Right palm to left last time. Elbow back, you draw your bow. Left hand up, looking upwards, disconnecting the mind from the stress centres of the brain. Open out. Lower your hands and bring your left foot in. Heel toe your feet in a little bit. To a comfortable hip width apart. Breathing in, raise your hands, hold your thumbs, and just sway, swaying palm tree from one side to the other. So we just looked at the heart, more towards the front of the heart, as we've moved up our energy centers. And now a back bend looks at the back of the heart a little bit. So lower your hands, lift and roll your shoulders, clasp your hands behind your back, aim your knuckles to the ground, lift your hands slightly away from your bottom and just sway slightly from side to side. And then come to the centre and just lift your hands slightly away from you. which will lift up your chest and put you into a very gentle back bend. You can stay looking ahead, or if you feel that you are in control, you can lift your chin and look upwards slightly. Very attention to you, that you're not throwing your head back, it's a controlled lift. Then bring your head back to center, and then release your arms, and just circle your arms one way, and then in the other direction. And we leave the heart as we go up to the throat. So come back once more to the ground, kneeling, and then we're going to come to dropping the bottom to the side and come to lying on our backs. As we focus on the throat, there are many ways to do this. Knees are hip width apart, Feet are hip width apart. Hands, palms down this time. 
and come to a very gentle pelvic tilt, so flattening your back to the ground and releasing, and flattening the back to the ground and releasing. And once more, flattening the back to the ground and releasing. Just check that if you could, your fingertips could almost touch the backs of your heels. Don't worry if that's too much, but just the general focus. Press your feet down, lift your bottom, lift your elbows, so even your hands it can be bent, and raise your hands up and back behind you as you press your feet down, chin goes into the chest, and then breathing out, lower your back and bottom down to the ground, lower your arms. Hands go back down, arms down on the floor. Just take a moment to recover yourself, and then when you're ready, again, press your feet into the ground, lift your bottom, feel that someone's got their hands on your knees, and that they're not splaying out. Lift your arms up above you. They can stretch right out of the bent. Chin goes into the chest. It's a form of bridge. And then when you're ready, roll down vertebra by vertebra. Your arms follow. And back down to the earth. And then this last one time, press your feet down and lift your bottom. Raise your arms up above you, chin goes into the chest. You lift as little as much up as you'd like. Breathing out, lower your back down to the ground. Your hands will naturally follow. When your bottom's back down onto the ground, hug both knees into the chest. Both soles of the feet up to the ceiling in a V. Palms together. And you can look at your thumbs. If you particularly want to engage your core, you can lift your head to look at your thumbs. That's optional. And lower your head. Bend your knees. Keep your knees wide as you rock from side to side. And then very gently begin to place your feet back down onto the ground. So your feet are on the ground, your knees are hip width apart. You can then just bring both hands, the pads of the fingers, to just above the eyebrows. If you just press on the bony bits above the eyebrows, I don't know why I didn't think of this before. It's um, in energy medicine, it's the neurovascular points. So just pressing on the bony bit above the eyebrows stops the blood rushing from the head when you might be having a headache. So it just retains the blood. It's an anti-headache um, strategy. And then just release the pads of your fingers. And to connect to the third eye, use one hand it will be your dominant hand probably, so my right hand. And just for the pads of your fingers, make little gentle circles in an anti-clockwise position for you. And then gradually reverse your circle so that it goes clockwise, just gently around the third eye, connecting into the third eye. If you want, if you've got um, concern with hearing at all, just put both pads of the fingers on that third eye area and just trace them across your forehead. But instead of coming off, just carry on round and you'll find that your fingers just brush above the top of your head, above the top of your ears. I can't speak today, so above the top of your ears. And if you just press down with your fingers above the top of the ears and circle, there's a little dent and that is the pressure point for the ears, the hearing. But of course, the ears and the eyes are quite connected. So this is, this is a particular hearing point. If you then drop your fingers to behind the lobes of your ears, this is a hearing, but also eyes as well, almost uh, behind the, below the, where your earrings are, just behind your earrings. 
it's almost like the jaw area as well. And then just drop your fingers behind the back, you know, the nape of your neck, where the head joins on, and just press your fingers there, just self-massage. And then you can still keep your fingers where they are, but just symbolically touch one hand to the very top of your head, so that's your crown chakra. Just connecting in to the final crown, top of the head chakra. And then just release your hands and have them anywhere. They can be resting on your chest. One on your chest, be just below your chest, one on your abdomen, they can both go on your abdomen. Your elbows are slightly out to the side. And just notice your breathing as you breathe in, what part of you slightly expands to accommodate the breath, what part just falls away as you breathe out. And just mentally think of the tailbone and just smoothly slide from the tailbone all the way up along your spine to a point in the center of your head and then breathing out just make, let your attention slide from that point in the center of your head somewhere all the way back down to the tailbone clearing anything you don't want today have a thought for the day for somebody you or for somebody else and just mentally repeat that thought and then let it go. Your intention is set for the day. And now, finally, choose a colour. And like cotton wool, wrap yourself in that colour. Top and bottom side, like an auric egg of cotton wool, a candy floss, auric egg. So it's the only positive things can come in, nothing negative. So only positive thoughts allowed today. And then bring your palms together and bring your palms to your third eye so that the backs of your thumbs just touch your third eye, your elbows go up slightly, taking a mental bow for yourself for the day ahead. And you can stay here lying on the mat, just drifting off, or you can come gently to moving and hugging your knees into your chest to come to a seated position, but you don't have to. I'm just going to go on the goal to finish the class today.